As we understand it, 48 migrants were uh, lured, I will use the word lured, uh, under false pretenses. You just heard from a sheriff in the great state of Texas who has announced that he is filing an investigation against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Now that was Javier Salazar who happens to be the elected sheriff of Bexar County. And he is specifically talking about the fact that Ron DeSantis felt the need to take asylum seekers from Texas and fly them to Martha's Vineyard to make a political statement and engage in a political stunt. Now he could have broken some laws in the process of doing so. And you're about to hear what some of those potential issues are in the next clip. Let's watch. Our understanding is that a Venezuelan migrant was paid a, a what we would call a bird dog fee to recruit approximately 50 migrants from the area around a migrant resource center on San Pedro here in San Antonio. As we understand it, 48 migrants were lured, I will use the word lured, under false pretenses into into staying at a hotel for a couple of days. They were taken by airplane, at a certain point they were shuttled to an airplane. Uh, where they were flown to Florida and then eventually flown to Martha's Vineyard, again, under false pretenses is the, the information that we have. So let's just be absolutely clear. Had Ron DeSantis been honest with these asylum seekers, meaning these are individuals who are in the country legally, these are not illegal undocumented immigrants. These are people who are seeking asylum, they have the right to be here. If Ron DeSantis had been honest with them, and told them, hey, I'm using you as political pawns and I'm going to fly you over to from Texas to Martha's Vineyard and you are not going to get all of these services that he told them they were gonna get, then it would be, I don't wanna say fine because at the end of the day, he's using human beings as political props and it's disgusting, right? But it would be hard to argue that he's engaging in something that could have some illegality, some criminality. And so do I think this investigation will yield any type of consequences for Ron DeSantis who has very clearly lied to these individuals? No, I think all of this is political, including the announcement of this investigation. I'm just keeping it real. And it's incredibly frustrating for me because it does nothing to solve the very real issue that we are having in this country with a system that is not set up to process asylum seekers quickly to ensure that they see their day before an asylum judge quickly. Like none of these issues are being addressed. It's just a political back and forth. Yeah, that's certainly true, but we gotta analyze the politics of it too. So I honestly, as you saw here on the show, I thought in the beginning that it was a potentially an effective publicity stunt. Do I know that it's a publicity stunt? Of course, right? Anyone who doesn't think it's a publicity stunt doesn't know anything about public, uh, politics, right? Uh, but you can judge whether it is effective or not without making a substantive comment on whether you like it. I don't like it, right? But I know people get confused. They they say, "Oh my God, what well, you thought it was effective? That means you like it." No, I don't. I don't want him to do this. It's absurd. You don't need to sh shuffle these people around, etc. Right? But I know what he was trying to do. Oh yeah, blue states. What are you gonna do? In fact, there's a quote where he said, "Oh, uh, the very next day after we sent him to Martha's Vineyard, they'll fix immigration." Well, did they? Did they? No, that didn't. But so what happened now, though, is it backfired because he wasn't careful, which is what happens with a lot of right wingers. They don't really care about the law and they think they're above it. So uh, there's actually three potential violations of the law here. One is no, you cannot lie to folks uh, to get them to board these buses. That's under false pretenses, etc. The sheriff might be doing it for political reasons, Anna, but he is correct. And it's actually rare when a local official has the courage to take on bigger officials like that when they're right about the law. And then there are two other violations of the law and a lawsuit. So now DeSantis is backpedaling and it looks like it's backfired. Yeah, look, I just, I wanna be clear. It's what the sheriff is doing in this announcement is fine. I just want us to be realistic about what's motivating it. So he's an elected sheriff. He identifies as a Democrat. This is a great opportunity to put yourself out there as a courageous one who's going to investigate 
Ron DeSantis, a Republican, knowing full well it's not gonna lead to anything. I'm just being real with you guys, it's not. All of it is a, polit it's a political football, it's being passed back and forth. It's incredibly frustrating because again, the main issue here is not being addressed, which is, hey, do we have the resources in place to process asylum seekers? These are people, again, who are in the country legally. And for all the right wingers who are freaking out about it, okay, I understand. If you're living in a border town and you're terrified of undocumented immigrants flowing into the country, you're worried about what it's gonna do to your communities. But we're not talking about undocumented immigrants. We're talking about, we're not talking about people who cross the border illegally. We have a system in place to process asylum seekers. That system is not robust enough, it's not funded enough. We don't have enough judges to deal with it. None of that's being addressed, we're just talking about the politics of it. So let me continue talking about the politics of it. So. Uh, what did, what, what did he do that could potentially be illegal? Uh, number one, he lied to these individuals and now they are filing a class action lawsuit against him. Judd Legum from Popular Info reported this first saying migrants flown to Massachusetts filed class action lawsuit against DeSantis and other Florida officials in federal court. Apparently the lawsuit alleges that DeSantis and his accomplices engaged in a premeditated fraudulent and illegal scheme centered on exploiting the migrants for the sole purpose of advancing their own personal, financial and political interests. Now several of the migrants said that a woman known as Perla approached them outside the migrant center and offered them jobs and assistance if they flew to Massachusetts. Those claims turned out to be false as officials on Martha's Vineyard were unprepared for their arrival. And by the way, there's evidence of this in the form of a pamphlet that was given to the migrant workers, okay? So in addition, brochures provided to the migrants said they could receive cash assistance and employment services in Massachusetts. The brochures included the phone number and website of the Massachusetts Office for Refugees and Immigrants. But the office said that it did not print the brochures. And just to show you proof of the brochures existence, there it is. Judd Legum happened to get access to that first and reported on it in popular info. The other thing is, it seems as though Ron DeSantis might have misused money that was appropriated by the state legislature in Florida for immigration purposes. But it's specifically for people who are in the country illegally, okay? So they allocated about $12 million for that purpose. And it turns out that these are people who were not in the country illegally. And so he misused those funds. So the state legislature is irritated with him. And by the way, the effort to get rid of migrants in the state of Florida apparently did not apply to Cubans and Venezuelans. And the majority of individuals who were sent to Massachusetts happened to be Venezuelans. So all of this is gross and politically motivated. I don't know why some asylum seekers would qualify, others wouldn't. But it gives you a sense of where the priorities are here. Yeah, so those two other potential legal issues for DeSantis are also real. In the statute it says that the this is specifically for illegal undocumented immigrants that have come to Florida, but in this case, they hadn't come to Florida, they had gone to Texas. He got them from San Antonio, they did a fuel stop in Florida. Does that count? Not really, right? But of course that gives, maybe that gives Republicans enough cover to say who cares. And by the way, they don't need cover. Republicans don't care about the law at all. They've never, in the last six years, they've shown no evidence that they give a damn about the law. So they'll probably just ignore that DeSantis did it illegally. But the second part is also interesting and it puts the Republicans in a harder political spot because in Florida, they made it, the Republicans made it very clear that Cubans and Venezuelans are not unauthorized aliens. They are refugees seeking asylum from a vicious, horrible communist Marxist country. So they are welcome here, they are not unauthorized aliens. But in the statute, it clearly says you can only do this to unauthorized aliens. So that puts the Republicans in a tougher spot when they ignore that he broke the law. Okay, which they will. There's no question yeah, about that. Definitely. But but back to the sheriff for a second. So the lawsuit that the uh, immigrants are filing is civil. What the sheriff is pursuing is criminal. Okay, and and they're both accurate. But look, a lot of times, Anna, we get on the Democrats for not acting. Well, no. he's acting. I mean, he's taking action on this. And by the way, also remember, whenever Republicans go to court, their BS falls apart because it's just meant for Fox News and Breitbart and dumbasses. And when you get into court, that, that just doesn't fly. 
Trump's floundering already with the special master. We have that later in the show. So if you put DeSantis in and go, hey, what did you did you authorize Perla to lie to these immigrants? He he might be in a tough spot. So I look, my issue with Democrats is that of all the things they could do, the one thing that they seem to love to do is engage in endless investigations that lead to no consequences. And I'm tired of it. That's yeah. the point I'm trying to make, right? Yeah. I get it's it's a political stunt all around, and I want to be real about that. Yeah. I don't want to engage in this like phony conversation about like, wow, this sheriff is so brave. He's doing it for political reasons too, and I would love to come on the show and say I was wrong. The sheriff was actually serious about this investigation for consequences, right? But if it's just a PR stunt on behalf of the sheriff, then I'm not really interested in giving him cookies. Super last thing is. There is very good reason for Anna to have that restraint in telling you the story because a lot of times I hear liberals that meaning like not progressives but you know more Clinton Biden supporters etc. I see them get super excited about misleading headlines. So like probably forty percent of them think that Ron DeSantis is going to be arrested and put in jail. That no. No way that's gonna happen, right? But holding him accountable in court through the civil and criminal actions is good. That's what you should do. But the idea that he's gonna be put in a jail in San Antonio for what he did here is absurd. So don't get too excited. And look, I think the civil suit probably will yield some sort of, you know, after all is said and done, there's probably gonna be some sort of settlement involved for the migrants, for the asylum seekers, and Florida taxpayers get to pay for that as well. So congratulations, your governor is costing you a ton of money, including the $615,000 he spent in Florida's taxpayer money to send these mostly Venezuelan migrants over to Martha's Vineyard to make a point, to make a political point and engage in a political stunt.